Chapter 14, Dr. Dorian. The next day was Saturday. Fern stood at the kitchen sink drying the breakfast dishes as her mom washed them. Mrs. Arable rose silently. Her, she hoped Fern would go out and play with the other children. Instead of heading up for a circus barn to sit and watch animals, Charlotte is the best beast storyteller I ever heard," said Fern, poking her dish towel into a cereal bowl. "Fern," said her mum sternly, "you must not invent things. You know spiders don't tell." Tell stories. Spiders can't talk. Charlotte can, replied Fern. She doesn't talk very loud, but she talks. What kind of story did she tell? asked Mrs. Rubble. Well, began Fern. She told us about her cousins of hers who catch fish in her web. Don't you think it's fascinating? Fern, dear, how do fish get a spider web? Said Mrs. Arable, "You'd know it couldn't happen. You're making things up." Oh, it's happened all right," said replied Fern. Charlotte never fibs. This cousin of hers is built a web across the steam. One day she was hanging around into the web, and a tiny fish leaped into the air and got tangled into a web. The fish was cut by one fin. Mother, its its tail was wildly thrashing and shining the sun. Can't you just see the web sagging dangerously under the weight of the flat fish? Charlotte's cousins kept slipping in, dugging out, and she beaten mercilessly out into. Uh, over the head by the widely thrashing fish, dancing in, dancing out, drawing fern. Snapped her mother. Stop it! Stop inventing these wild tales. I don't inventing," said Fern. "I just tell you the in fact." What final happened? Asked her mother, who's. Carestly began to to get better over Charlotte's cousin's one. She wrapped her fish up and she ate him when she she got good and ready. Spiders have to eat the same as rest of us. Yes, I suppose they do," said Mrs. Erbel, vaguely. Charlotte has another cousin in the bowl balloonist. She stands on her head, lays into the line, and carried a off, off loft into a wind. Mother, couldn't you simply love to do that? Yes, I do. Would. Come to think of it, replied Mrs. Erbel. But Fern, darling, I wish. You could play outdoors today instead of by going to Uncle Homer's barn. Find something of your playmates and do something nice outdoors. You're spending too much time in the barn. Isn't it good for you alone so much? Alone, said Fern. Alone. My best friends are in the barn cellar. It was very so. So cable place, not all it's lonely. Fern disappeared after a while, walking down into a road towards Sarkman's. Her mother dusted into a sitting room. As she walked, she kept thinking about Fern. It didn't seem natures for a little girl to be so instant of in animals. Finally, Mrs. Cerebral made to her mind she would play out. Pay to call old Doctor Dorian and asked his advice. She got a car and drove him his office into a village. Doctor Dorian has thick beard. He was glad to see Mrs. Erbel and gave her a comfortable chair. It's about Fern, she explained. 
for spending entirely too much time in Zerkman's barn. It doesn't seem normal. She sits a milk stool in the corner of the barn cellar, needle in the pig pen, and watched animals hour and hour. She just sits to listen. Dr. Dorian leaned back into the closest eyes. How enchanting, he said. It must be real nice and quiet down here. Homer has some sheep, hasn't he? Yes, said Mrs. Erble, but it all started with that pig we let Fern raise in the bottle. She called her Wilbur. Homer brought a pig, and ever since it left out place, Fern has been going to her uncle to be near it. I've been hearing things about that pig, said Dory, Dr. Dorian, opened his eyes. Does they say he's a quiet pig? Have you heard about the words that appeared in Spiderweb? asked Mrs. Arable nervously. Yes, replied the doctor. Well, do you understand it? asked Mrs. Arable. Understand what? Do you understand how there could be any writing in the spider web? Oh no," said the doctor Dorian. "I don't understand it. But for a matter, I don't understand how a spider learned to spin a web in the first place. When the words appeared, everyone says it was a miracle, but nobody pointed at the web itself in the miracle. How's miracle? Miraculous about spider web? Asked Mrs. Serbel. I don't see why you say a web in a miracle. It's just a web. Ever tried to spin one? Asked Doctor Dorian. Mrs. Serbel shifted uneasily in her chair. No, she replied. But I can crack it a a dolly, and I can knit a sock. Sure. Said the doctor, but somebody taught you, didn't they? My mother taught me. Well, the tough is a, a spider. A young spider know how to spin a web without any instructions from anybody. Don't you re regard a miracle? I suppose so," said Mrs. Serble. "I never looked at in that way before." Still, I don't understand how those words got into a web. I don't understand it, and I don't like, and I can't understand. None of us do," said Doctor Dorian, sighing. "I'm a doctor. Doctors are supposed to understand everything, but I don't understand everything. I don't in, intend to let no worry me." Mrs. Erble fidgeted. Fern says all the animals talk to each other. Doctor Dorian, do you believe animals talk? I never heard one say everything. Anything he replied, but that proves nothing. It is quite possible that the animal has spoken truthfully to me, and that I don't catch the remark because I wasn't paying in attention. People pay. People paid better attention, and the grown-ups first said there are animals in Zarkman's barn talk. I've, I'm quite ready to believe her. Perhaps the people talk less. Animal would talk more. People are insistent talkers. I can't give you my words of that. Well, I felt better about Fern," said Mrs. Serval. "Don't you think I need worry about her? Does she look well?" asked asked the doctor. "Oh yes, a pe appetite good. Oh yes, she always hungry. Sleeps well at night. Oh yes. Then don't worry," said the doctor. "You do you think? Do you think?" She'll ever start thinking about something 
Besides pig and the sheep and the geese and the spider, how old for fern? She's eight. Well, said Doctor Durian, I think she will always love Daniel, but I doubt she has spent her entire life in Homer and Zarkman's barn cellar. How about boys? That does even she know any boys? She knows Henry Fussy, said Mrs. Zerbul brightly. Doctor Durian closed his eyes again and went into a deep thought. Henry Fussy, he mumbled. Hmm. Remarkable. Well, I don't think you are having anything to worry about. Lad Fern also cre create with her friends to in the barn if she wanted to. I would say overhand that the spider pig were fussy, fully and interesting of Henry Fussy. Yet I predict that the day will come soon. Hen Henry will drop some chance remark into Fern's attention. It is amazing how children change from ear to ear. How's Avery? He asked, opening his wide. I sighed. Oh, Avery! <laughs> Chuckled Mrs. Silver. Avery is always fine. Of course, he gets into potions, IV, and gets strung by whips and bees, and breaking frogs and snakes home, and bring frogs and snakes and break everything he lay in his hands on. He's fine. Good," said the doctor. Mrs. Cerebral said goodbye and thanked Mr. Do Dr. Dorian very much for his advice. She felt greatly relieved.